Hello guys, welcome back to the vlog and today I am going to share with you some art things. I'm going to start to paint the mural on the wall and also I'm going to create a kind of like a fake plant. <laughs> uh, before I give in and I buy a fake one, I want to try if I can recreate this from all natural um, materials. So that's what you're going to see besides the food that we ate and the errands that we did. I always have some cooked potatoes in the refrigerator so now I just cut them up and I have the paprika ready. This is uh, made from beef. And I also have some Hungarian cucumber salad to go with that. It's kind of like a pickled thing but in the fast way. I just put some olive oil and lots of vinegar, some maple syrup and garlic powder and I just slice the cucumbers to very thin slices and I salt them and once the cucumber has the juice out I just squeeze it out and I toss it into that uh, vinegar mixture. thinking what could I paint on the wall so I'm just going to brainstorm a little nothing have been decided for the final but I'm going to give a try oh, to this idea want to paint something that has a neutral color but also that adds some interest to the wall so that's a tricky one when I don't want to use a lot of color yet I want something to pop out I picked this ivory color and the golden because I think golden just makes it very nice unique and elegant but it doesn't have a strong contrast as a black would have
The chicken coop project is coming along very well. We still have a lot to do, but all the chickens are spending a night in this house. So this is for today, you're going to make a divider inside and eventually... Yeah, so this is gonna be pretty much the layout of the new chicken run. Yeah, so he's and planning to put down some poles and put some chicken wires around and we're going to have a real roof and yeah. also we're going to cover the back side because it's kind of windy so yeah they're going to have more protection from there but the sun is coming from this side I have shared this idea previously many times when I was doing some decorating video where I showed you how to preserve these leaves basically I just have a low setting on the iron and I'm just going to iron them out between two papers and um, I'm going to do this today and tomorrow and I'm going to see how the progress is going forward if it needs to be um, ironed more a little bit then I will do it but usually two days is is done I only iron them just a few times and depends uh, on the humidity in the room or on the leaves how much juice it has in there but usually it's done in two days and I would say maybe I ironed three times so I had an idea how to create a decoration with that which I will share with you later on in this video So I've been making some coffee for Joad lately because he likes it but he doesn't want to drink it too often so I usually just do this on the weekends and because I don't have a coffee maker <laughs> this is a very simple and easy way to do that I just use a large tea bag and I soak the coffee in the hot water in this bag and it works amazing.
<laughs> so I've been looking for some um, greenery to decorate with and I got some plants for the bedroom but uh, they don't like it there it's too dark for them and I, I really like the fake olive tree but I want to try a few things before I even think about to purchase one because I just I don't want to buy plastic so I'm going to give a try so I find this branch in the backyard and I have the leaves that I ironed out so basically they kind of preserved so they're gonna be good for a long time and I was thinking if I can glue this on maybe it will give the same feeling as having a fresh um, branch in there and if it works maybe I can do a bigger one but now I just wanna <laughs> see if it's going to work or it's going to be a feel. This was for the today's vlog. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!